In this video, I'm just going to be showing you some uh, quick Photoshop tips and tricks that you can use when you're Photoshopping uh, different images and uh, stuff. So, right now I'm actually working on a friend's uh, Twitter background. His name's Rory on YouTube. He's Rory Macman. I'll put a link in the description. Go check him out. Uh, he just started his channel, but his videos are awesome. Uh, so, you should go subscribe to him. And so, he wanted a Twitter background that was similar to mine, so that's what mine looks like with the Blake's Twitter and the iPhone with a little description. And uh, then on the side, there's a picture of me with follow me and then a Twitter bird on my shoulder. So, um, he sent me his details, a picture of him, what, he, what colors he wanted, uh, different stuff like that. So, right now... I'm just working with his uh, template that I created. Um, so right now, um, I'm going to be working on, I'm going to add some text and uh, work on the Twitter bird. I'll just show you that in this video. So as for the text, um, I'm going to click the text tool. And once it's done loading, and um, it's a lot easier. Here's a little tip: don't drag it and make a box to type in, because then you can only write on like one line, and then it overlaps on the rest of it. So um, my suggestion, I'm just gonna delete that layer really quickly. My suggestion is just click once, and then you can type. So, uh, right now I'm just going to go to a normal font. Uh, I'll just go this one. And put the points down. And that's going to be too small. And I'll probably use um, this color just for now to show you this. Actually, um, did that color? So then I'll start typing. And this is a good little tip. If you want to make uh, your text kind of look like the Twitter logo, what you do when you're done, I'm just going to create another text thing really quickly. And you can drag that around like that. And then I'm going to combine the two text layers. So on a Mac, you click Command, and then to merge them, uh, you click Command E. I think that would be Control E on PC. And then you double click on this on the side here. It'll bring up this uh, layer style. And you can, to get the Twitter effect, you click Stroke. And then you click down on the tab, Stroke. Change it to white. And then change the size. Actually, I'm not, I'm gonna back go back a little bit so I have two layers do the stroke change it to white maybe make it go to seven and then I'm gonna go copy layer style and then paste the layer style on that one and move this down a bit. Then I'm going to merge the two layers. So now I have that text done. So um, I'm not going to get into writing the, all the text out on the iPhone right now because uh, it'll take a while because I have to switch back and forth to what um, to write down what he wanted. So I'm just going to work on the Twitter bird right now for the remainder of this um, video. And also, before I do that, 
with this um thing right here, the pro blogger. It's just a simply a template to show like show me showing me where um the areas of Twitter will be on the on the screen. So simply when you're done of your background, you turn that layer off and save it as a JPEG and then um just upload to your Twitter. So just remember to um if you're using a template like this to remove that so that it won't show up anywhere on your page. I'm just using it kind of like as a guideline to where things should be. So now that you have this Twitter bird, I'm going to use the quick selection tool. And I'm just going to start highlighting over the whole bird. And sometimes it happens like it selects the whole image like that in the corner over there. So up in the corner here, um, you can select that this tool right here. Um, actually, I'm going to use this because I was on the wrong uh, selection tool. But then that happened again. So I'm going to click uh, subtract from selection. And then if you go around here, see it just cuts that out. The same with that and right here. So I'm just going to go back to this one and start at it again. Selecting all the parts. And this is just a rough selection. Um, you can refine it down once you get it on the actual image. And there it selected that again. So click this. And it's starting to subtract it a little bit. In here and eventually you'll get a pretty rough uh, cut of it and you can just simply get more um, into detail once you finish so there I think that's pretty good I got uh, most of the whole bird so now I'm just going to click, um, I'm actually going to shrink it. So to shrink an image, you go image, image size. Then I'm going to change pixels to percent. And go half to see what that's like. And it's actually on 100% right now. There, so I got a rough selection. So I'm going to go edit copy. And then back in the template, I'm going to click paste. And then there you have a rough um, thing of the bird. And the bird's on the, like the opposite way. So I'm going to use the free transform tool. I'm just going to it's on that layer so it's not going to do anything to his arm over here because that's not technically on the layer so then I'm gonna right click and click free transform and now if I just drag it like this it simply mirrors the image so that's another little tip and then you can just um, go back in your selection And refine it some more after this video, but um, that's basically a little. It's not very much of a um, t like tips and tricks uh, because it takes a while, and I can't show that many in ten minutes. So I'll have to make some more videos. But um, this is just an introduction to that. I'll probably be making some more Photoshop videos soon in the future. So. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.